What's up guys, I'm Moana Turtle and today we are doing some more Pokemon PTCGO. So I'm still running the Picarom deck because I still can't build any other ones. Uh, I did make a couple changes, let's see. Um, we have Double Marshadow, we, I did add in a Rescue Stretcher, swapping out I think a Cynthia. Um, and I think I added one more thing, oh Mysterious Treasure. At this point we do have a Tapu Lele as well as two Marshadows to look for those. And I think I got rid of an Ultra Ball as well, since Mysterious Treasure is essentially like a better Ultra Ball, but you're just limited to Psychic Pokemon. So, alright, that's our current deck, and we're going to get into a game. Be right back. Alright, we just dropped into a match. We are up against Costolo Manred, and he has exclusively Lightning deck. Alright, just Zapdos in the beginning. It's not too great, but we do have plenty of draw power. Have a lily, and then if we if things get really rough, we can use a dedene. Okay, I think we just win. Let's just make sure. Alright, so all we need to do is find some kind of switch. Alright, so let's just play it safe. We use Mysterious Treasure to grab Laylight, to grab Volkner, to grab the switch. As long as Tepu Lele is not benched, which is not. Alright, so well, I do feel like this is all. Oh, actually, I should have checked when I used the Mysterious Treasure to make sure Volkner was not uh, prized. But this is a good demonstration of how this deck is super flexible. And why having a bench is really important. And there we go. <laughs> so, super fast match. I'll probably tag on another match on this, but if I, in case I don't, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, and uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all down below. I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Alright, so let's see. We're going to... I think we're facing a water. We're going to put Coco out there as well. It's a little risky, but just in the event that we get. I feel like this is good marsh out of protection when you only have four cards in your hand. I guess it's just a deterrent. Let's go for Picaram play. Gonna need some Ultra Ball. Do I have rope or do I get rid of the rope?
Yeah, I'd rather keep the electric charger in my deck. Keep the Iridium Force just in case. Toss these two out. Scarab Lele. Then go for Lily. It's a nice card draw. Do I play the Viridian Force? No, I think we'll keep it. In case. Alright, only one Guzma. That's not good. Um in case they have Mount Corna, I think it is. Leaving the Coco on. Two electric powers, even if he uses full metal wall, this means we need to get to 290, which we can do. So, this is an interesting deck where they use Tool Drop and things like Genesect to have a bunch of tools. Very interesting. Alright, so this guy has essentially 210. And I guess I probably should have kept something to switch this out. Oh shit! No, 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 that's not what I was supposed to. Uh, no, that's fine. I had to do this first. <laughs> Alright, so this will get rid of that. So now you just need two electro powers. Okay. Um, let's use this real quick. Yeah, it's something else to ramp up. I don't think this is an option. If you do switch this Pokemon to your Arctic Pokemon. I don't like the idea of having... Do I go all in? Alright guys, we're going all in. I think this is a mistake, but... Let's do it. 180... I feel like I'm either going to win or lose instantly. If this thing gets knocked out. I'm going to be so far behind. Oh, he can just full metal wall. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Full metal wall about to destroy me. Whoops. 